Hey what is going on guys it's triple g here back with another borderlands 3 video today we're going to discuss whether the transformer the all-seeing all-hearing powerful transformer could be replaced by a shield in dlc4 guys if you enjoy this video Please consider subscribing to the channel, it really does help, or join us over on Twitch, we stream five times a week, including twice on the Borderlands channel, and otherwise, let's get straight to this video. So if we just recap over the Transformer, this is a level 65 Transformer with around 40k capacity, complete immunity to shock, and a 40% absorb chance. Now, the immunity to shock obviously is brilliant, however, the 40% absorb chance is really, really good on this shield. Now... In DLC 4, they added a shield called the Ultra Shield. Now, the Ultra Shield can have a 25% chance to absorb bullets as ammo, and it increases action skill cooldown down rate by 30% for several seconds. Now, this is really good. Now, albeit we don't have the immunity to shock, if you're using characters, for example, like a Gamma Burst Flak, you're going to get increased cooldown rate. Now, when Gamma Burst is active, Flak is really, really powerful and gives him that bit of extra survivability. So you could use this shield instead of, for example, a stock gap. And that will provide you with all the survivability and action skill cooldown rate that you could possibly need. In addition, one I think one of the advantages of this shield is that it can roll with some additional passives as well, whereas the transformer is fixed. So for example, on mine, I have a plus 10% movement speed while shield is depleted, and while full, shots drain 30% shields for 20% weapon damage. And this anointment that I have is after exiting Iron Bear, gain 75% shield and health for 25 seconds. Now, what I think really interesting here is the passives alone are really good, and then in addition to that, you can get an anointment. So so this one I really like for, for example, a blood letter Moes because we're going to get that increased shield and we're constantly using um, the blood letter to top up our shields, getting that extra 20% damage. So this shield could be really good. I My usual go-to shield, for example, on Kick-Ass Moes, which uses a blood letter, would have been a transformer, but I can definitely see me using this in the future instead of the transformer. And just to add as well, guys, this shield drops from any of the named bosses in DLC 4. Um, it does have a dedicated drop from Benedict. However, it will drop from any of them there. Guys, I think this shield is really good and could potentially replace the Transformer on a lot of builds. And it's nice to see some variety and combinations in those passes as well. If you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to the channel or join us over on Twitch. We stream five times a week. And otherwise, I'll catch you on the flip.